Hi, it's Eda here and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I talk about everyday aesthetics lifestyle here and uh, today I'd like to talk on how to build a capsule wardrobe using the concept of everyday aesthetics and minimalism. But before I begin, I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers. Hey guys, <laughs> we are now a very small community of 43 people and uh, thank you a lot for joining the channel. And uh, if you're interested in some particular topics, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'll surely talk on these. Also, I'm waiting for the day when we reach 100 people here. Then the community tab will be available on the channel and we'll be able to communicate more often. Okay, and back to the topic. First, uh, let's make it clear what a capsule wardrobe is. To me, a capsule wardrobe is a collection of clothing that is uh, composed of interchangeable items only to maximize the number of outfits that can be created. The idea behind it is to have, you know, an outfit suitable for any occasion without owning excessive items of clothing. Uh, to get a chart, a capsule wardrobe is a mini wardrobe ma made of really versatile pieces that you totally love to wear. And of course, um, there are great benefits to having one. A capsule wardrobe represents more time, more money and more energy for the things in life that really matter. So, where to start? The preparation step is really important for creating a capsule wardrobe. And guess what it is? Uh, it's decluttering, yeah. Especially if it's been more than a year when you went uh, through your clothes and cleaned out uh, what was in your closet. And uh, don't try to build a capsule just yet. It's just a preparation step. So simply take uh, one or two hours to pull everything uh, to pull out everything uh, that you know for sure you aren't going to wear and get them out of your closet. Now let's build. So step one, identify primary outfit categories. Uh, first take a sheet of paper and uh, identify those primary outfit categories that are most relevant to your lifestyle. Uh, here are uh, all the daily outfit categories I identified. Active, like sports, hiking, on the go, and so on. Work, office, meetings, and so on. Dressy, like formal events, concerts, restaurants, uh, date night, etc. Next, uh, it will be lounge, movies or reading at home, you know, work from, work from home, reading and so on. Next, casual, meeting with friends and relatives, shopping, errands and so on. So imagine a general look and feel for uh, what you would be wearing in each of these scenarios. Then choose ones that are most relevant to lifestyle right now. To me, these are casual, lounge and active. The thing is, I don't go to the office and do only remote projects, so I mostly need casual items. Also, I run and do yoga from time to time, so I need active wear. And lastly, I spend uh, much time indoors in my apartment and outdoors in a country house, so loungewear is essential for me to have. Great, now that you've identified your primary outfit categories, go to step two. And step two is try on items you have right now in your closet. Just want to mention here that we don't buy new things just yet. We create a capsule based on what we already have. Okay, so take 
the items you have after your decluttering and try them on. This includes everything, uh, outwear, tops and bottoms, uh, dresses, shoes and accessories. In the process, ask yourself uh, these five questions for each item. So first, will, we, will this work with my lifestyle? Uh, second, does it fit uh, with my personal style? Next, does the fit and fabric work for me? Uh, next, does it go with three other items in my wardrobe? And the last question is, how many outfits can I create with this item? So, if the answer is no for at least one of the first four questions, uh, then it probably doesn't belong in your capsule. Uh, okay, when you're done, you have let some items go and some items are still uh, in your wardrobe. So yeah, congratulations! This is where your capsule wardrobe starts. And the last step will help you to make it perfect. So, step three is to identify colors and missing items. So, what you need now is to examine your items carefully. Start with the colors. So, the capsule wardrobes, uh, wardrobe in terms of colors as a rule consists of a base color, complementary colors and accent colors. Black, navy, and brown are the most uh, commonly used colors in capsule wardrobes. As for my wardrobe, my base color, yeah, it's black, it's my favorite. Now, complementary colors, they are all neutral colors like black, white, gray, or beige. They may come in different uh, shades, so simply choose your favorite. As for me, my Complementary colors are black, white, and gray. Light gray and, you know, that uh, graphite um, gray. I don't like beige at all and it doesn't fit me, uh, I think. Okay, the good thing is about neutrals, uh, they all coordinate well with each other and base colors. So you can go wrong. As for the accent colors, um, these are bright colors that, you know, pop up and add to personal style and feel. Uh, these uh, can be solid colors or patterns like florals, polka dots or stripes and so on. My accent colors um, are dusty pink, sage and marsala. As for patterns, I like floral, florals and polka dots. I have one stripe, striped shirt though, yeah. So whatever colors and patterns you like, just make sure your accent colors coordinate with your base color. Next, a look at the items you have selected in step two and ask yourself, do these items match my favorite colors? If they do, uh, it's perfect. But uh, you might want to buy the same item in a different color sometimes later and uh, let go of the item uh, with the unmatching color and you might want to make a list of such switches uh, which will initially become your shopping list. Okay, uh, now it's time to identify uh, missing items. How do you do that? Well, typically you wear a capsule wardrobe for three months then at the end of those three months you update it for the next season but it doesn't work for me my capsule is 90 is 90 percent universal meaning i can wear it all year round and 10 percent of my items are, are those uh, for colder seasons so these are shoes outerwear and scarves and a couple of sweaters to me this approach looks more minimalist and allows me to stick to my everyday aesthetics principle. Yet, if I were to, you know, uh, stick to the seasons, I'd say that my wardrobe uh, uh, can I can split it into spring, summer, and fall, winter categories. So, to identify missing items, I first think of the seasons. Am I missing 
something for winter or fall, for example. Next, I think of the variety of items I have in each category. By variety, I mean variety in feet, style and colors uh, rather than numbers. Like, do I have enough items for yoga sessions or do I have anything to wear when working in the countryside? And if you Google the capsule wardrobe formulas, you'll see there are plenty. You know, some say that uh, you can only have 10 items per season, others stick to 10 items per uh, each category, but um, again, it doesn't work for me. I mean, uh, counting the numbers uh, looks limiting and frustrating to me. Instead, I stick to my everyday aesthetics principle, which is everything in my closet is perfect, which means it's of high quality and combined with other things in the wardrobe. And it brings me joy and is aesthetically, aesthetically pleasing to me. But um, what I wanted to say uh, that it's just impossible to have too many items uh, that, that way, since uh, I select each item carefully, uh, preferring quality over quantity, uh, plus I keep uh, a sustainability reduce principle in mind. Okay, getting back to the point, you can do basically the same. Uh, identify your favorite colors first, make a list of the missing items next, and only after that you can uh, shop for replacements or brand new items. The important thing is uh, here you don't uh, you don't want to make it in one shopping spree. It's not how it works. Uh, sometimes it takes time and effort to pick the perfect pieces. Okay, to sum things up, uh, declutter. Try the remaining items on. Identify colors and missing items, and that's it. And I've also created a simple PDF guide and a cheat sheet for you so that the process of building your capsule wardrobe goes smoothly. And uh, I want to make a series of videos about capsule wardrobe, showing you my capsules for active uh, category, for casual category and lounge category. And that's basically it for today. Uh, thanks a lot for watching and I hope this guide was helpful. Let me know in the comments below what you think, guys, and I'll see you in my next videos.